Don't be a sucker. Figure eight every cast. What's up, Yens guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. Well, we are fresh off of the Musky Max 2019. And with that said, a number of you guys have asked me what I had purchased at the show. Now, many of you guys know that I went ballistic at Musky Max, and there were a couple of reasons for that. Number one, we are going to Canada at the end of May, beginning of June, and I wanted to get some of these baits in a bigger profile for those fish in Canada. In addition to that, I had a few vendors that I had targeted that I just really don't have a lot of their baits. Now, you guys know I was after Bakers this year. I had targeted Bakers, and I made a concerted effort to get to the Ohio show in Musky Max as early as humanly possible to get in line to purchase one of Zach's baits. But in addition to that, there were a number of other vendors that I really wanted to talk to and pick up some of their lures. One of which was Boss Shad. I've been trolling the Boss Shad website for months, picking up random baits as they came available. But also, maybe my favorite lure maker, Dale Wiley. Now you guys know throughout the years, sometimes they can be hard to get. And Dale works very hard to get these baits out, but the demand is very high. Now, on Chautauqua last year, a lot of our fish were caught on Wileys, and in particular, that five and a half musky killer. So that's what I wanted to put my emphasis on. We fish a lot of lakes in PA, but we spent a lot of time up in New York on Chautauqua. So what I thought I would do is I wanted to show you guys my pickups from Musky Max, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm gonna be fishing in 2019. Again, we're gonna be doing a lot of trolling, we're gonna be doing some casting, and with that Canadian adventure, you know, a lot of these baits are gonna come into play. All right, before we get started, guys, I just wanna take the opportunity to thank all of the vendors that participated in Musky Max 2019. Without you vendors, these shows wouldn't be as special as they are for guys like me. The experience is tremendous. The opportunity to come out and talk to you guys as vendors, to talk about your guide services, to talk about your lures, your products, your leaders, and really just be involved in the musky community, talking muskies, talking about fishing for muskies, talking about conservation of muskies. You know, really these experiences, they're just so tremendous and they really help guys like me who are, are trying to figure this out and really who wanna spend the time to fish muskies and who care about the fish. So you guys set the prime example. I know it's an opportunity for you guys to sell your products, but we couldn't have these caliber of shows without you vendors committing, coming out and giving us the opportunity to be involved and come out here and purchase product. So again, thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciated your commitment and it just makes events like Musky Max so cool, so special and such a tremendous and positive experience. One last thing too, for those of you that donate to Musky Road Rolls, Thank you, thank you, thank you. What Greg and Tony is doing with musky road rolls is just so fantastic and it's such a great learning experience. And again, that event is so much more special when you guys contribute your products as giveaways or gifts to the guys that sign up for that show. It really just, again, it just makes it so unique and just such a cool experience, not only to go out there and learn from these guys, but then to kind of win raffles and see some of the products and, and really get that stuff to go out and fish with it. So, so again, thank you guys very much for donating your products to Musky Road Rolls and it really just makes that event so epic. All right guys, we have a lot of ground to cover here. As you can see on the table, I have a tremendous amount of baits that I'm super pumped about. I couldn't be any more excited. So with that said, I just want to start off. So first and foremost, you guys knew I was in line. I was targeting the bakers. Now some of these I showed in the Musky Max video, but 
The gifted bait that Zach gave me at the very beginning of the show was this five inch orange belly walleye. Such a cool bait. In addition to that, I targeted this bait here, which is a perch goldie hybrid. That's also a very awesome color. And then my third bait here was the Zach Baker five inch orange belly perch. Look at the paint job on that. Now I picked up the five inch Goldie again through Fat AZ, that promotion on Sunday. So I left the show with four five inch bakers. Couldn't be more ecstatic about that. All right guys, second booth that I hit was Boss Shad. And the reason I wanted to hit Boss Shad was to pick up the four and a half Mud Puppy. Such an awesome color. And also I couldn't take my eyes off of this one. That custom orange Rapala with the gold glitter, white belly, just such a cool bait. And I'm gonna cast those and I'm gonna troll those throughout the year. In addition to that, the gifted bait for being one of the five first customers was that eight inch minnow bait. Again, the killer Boss Shad paint job, just such a cool bait overall. All right, the next booth that I went to was Dale Wiley. And as I was budget planning for Musky Max, I knew that I was committed to Dale Wiley's booth in picking up as many Wileys as I possibly could. And the reasons for that, I really don't have any Wileys. I picked up two five and a halfs last year after our Chautauqua spell, but I also picked up two fat bodies at the Musky Zinc Lure Swap. Now, I really wanted particular colors. And again, Dale's baits can be somewhat hard to get. It's just because the demand is so high. And the other reason I targeted Wileys, aside from them just being fish catchers for many, many years, was again that lunge log through Musky Zinc. If you guys go out and take a look at the lunge log, you'll see that Dale Wiley's baits are second all time in most caught muskies in that lunge log. So to me, you know, he's a local guy to Pennsylvania. I will support him and his booth and his products because of that, but also because they're just genuinely one of the best lures on the market and they have been for years. Dale's been doing this for a long time and it's just something that I committed to in my mind. I was buying Wileys. So with that said, I wanna start off, I wanted the six inch fat bodies. I didn't really have any of these to this point. So I picked up the first six inch fat body in kind of this perch pattern. Also, I picked up the six inch fat body in the mud puppy pattern. Such a sick paint job, sick profile. I love this bait. I also picked up the six inch fat body in Mr. Goldie. You guys know that Goldie is my color this year. I'm going to throw this a lot. And lastly, if you guys listen to Fat AZ, you know about Todd Young's dog bone. This is the newer paint job of the dog bone, but this is the brown perch fat body. And this might be my favorite color in all of his colors. This is just a sick paint job. Awesome profile again, awesome color. So I committed to the fat bodies. In addition to that, I did the same thing with the five and a halves. I wanted the same color. So there's the brown perch and the five and a half jointed. There's the Goldie in the five and a half jointed. There's the mud puppy in the five and a half jointed. And I went with fire tiger in the five and a half jointed. So again, just awesome trolling baits. You guys can cast those. And also I picked up one additional five and a half in the straight model. This was one of the only ones that were left. I really wanted silver for Ohio. So I went with this silver sucker type pattern with the orange belly, just such a cool lure. But I also wanted to get at least one head shaker at this show. So I did that and I went with the head shaker again in the mud puppy. Now mud puppy is an excellent color. All of Dale's colors are excellent. Again, he makes one of the best products in the country. And I am thankful personally that he lives here in Pennsylvania and I can get these baits from a couple of different vendors, you know, across the state um, at times. So if I want to go get more, I can place an order, you know, wait for, for Dale to produce it, or I can go out to some of the bait shops that carry them. So again, Dale Wiley, that was my biggest expenditure throughout the show. And really I'm glad that it was because now I know that I have trusted high producing baits in my box for lakes like Chautauqua and for our 10 day Canadian adventure. Okay, the next pickup that I wanna talk about is again, one of my favorite lure makers, 
right here again in the state of Pennsylvania. Couldn't be more pumped to check out his booth every year is the Leo Lures Todd Leo Party. So I picked up, I only picked up one bait this year, but I'll show you why. So I was trolling his booth and I really just wanted a color that I didn't have in the mojo. And I wanted something that was kind of like a goldish yellow, orange type bait. And I ended up with this. After I talked to Todd through Facebook, I found out that the name of this bait is Tiki Bar. And I really couldn't be even more excited because that's such an awesome name for this color. So the reason I only picked up one of those baits really quickly is because I have an entire box filled with Shayla's and Mojo's. Um, there are just so many colors that he makes that I want. But again, my emphasis was on Dale Wiley this year and picking up those Wileys. So you guys need to check out Todd Leo Party at Leo Lures. Again, he makes awesome products. His baits are just fantastic profiles. In the paint jobs, in my opinion, they're so intricate, they're so beautiful, and they're really just works of art. So I am always gonna pick up at least one Leo at the shows, and hopefully, Todd, next year I can get some time to talk to you and maybe pick up a few more of those Mojo Shads. Okay, next pickup, guys, I wanna talk about Evan Shoss and Shoss Bait Company. Now, I recently just met Evan through Muskie's Inc. So yet another reason for you guys to go out and join Muskie's Inc. because you guys get to meet people like Evan. And Evan, he's just such a nice person, genuine person, and he makes killer baits. And unfortunately, I made it to Evan's booth a little late and the majority of his meatballs were gone, but I was able to at least get my hands on one of these meatballs here in that glitter perch pattern. I just absolutely love the profile of this bait. This is just such a cool thing. I feel like I can catch multiple species of fish on this, and I feel like this is gonna produce a muskie for me this year. You know, looking at the details of this bait, I love the eyes on it. Again, I love the bill, I just love the profile. So you guys need to check out Evan Shoss. He makes that musky miner as well, and those are just, some of the paint jobs he does, they're just so sick. I really wish I knew how to paint like you guys, because these are just pieces of art. This is pure artwork that you guys can go out there and catch big fish on. So it's just super cool. All right, next pickup. And I am super excited about this one as well because I had the opportunity to meet Mark King at Muskie Max. I've seen a lot of Mark stuff online and I've seen guys catch fish on them. You know, I'm trying to get into this whole glide bait scene and understand how to pitch these things, how to work them. And I really just wanted one to try to figure out how to use it. And in all honesty, I didn't really anticipate buying one of Mark King's baits, but after I met him at the booth and just saw like how such an awesome person he is, he knew me by name. You know, his wife, it was such a cool experience. His wife had mentioned that she watched some of my videos to prep for Musky Max. So it just really put a smile on my face. It was just such a pleasant experience talking to Mark and his wife and really, again, just meeting somebody that's so genuine and just so nice and just really, cares about talking to you as a fisherman. And you know, guys like Mark King, I will invest in your products because of the type of people you are. And I know these baits catch fish. Matter of fact, most, if not all of the baits at Musky Max catch fish. So really it's your preference as an angler. You know, what color are you confident in to throw? What bait style are you confident in to throw? You know, those are the types of things that I'm trying to develop in myself but Mark King, you know, taking the time with me to talk, such an awesome experience. I couldn't have been more stoked. And I ended up with one of probably one of my favorite glide baits in all of the baits that I have. And I don't have many of them, but I'm going to purchase more of these. So this is the Mark King glide bait. I believe this is the senior. It's a little bit thicker, such a cool paint job. I love the curly tail on it. Um, I am super pumped to get this in the water. And I am so excited that I actually reached out to Mark this week and I picked up one more of these baits, particularly for Ohio. So again, you guys need to check out Mark King. He does make dive and rise baits as well. I'm a huge fan of this profile on this glide bait and I couldn't have been happier with my experience with Mark at the booth. Just tremendous guy, his wife is cool. Such a just awesome experience. Those are the types of things that I thrive on at Musky Max. You know, I'm kind of intimidated at these shows. I'm a little bit nervous. I get nervous in big crowds. I'm shy, but guys like Mark, you make it easy on me. 
you make it so easy for me to ask questions and it just again it just leads into that experience throughout the show that just makes these events so great so i can't see a musky show without rattle baits tony grant you make the rattle bait in my opinion and i am just super pumped because i picked up another one of these fat bellies and i'll tell you a story about this really quick i had this color last year we were up on St. Clair. I was catching pike on this like crazy. And I cast it back, smacked it off the side of Dan's boat, and shattered it. So I've been on a mission since to try to find this clown color, this orange-white chartreuse. And Tony had it at his booth. I could not resist this. I almost bought two of them. Vicky almost talked me into buying two. But, you know, this is the type of thing. You guys can pick these rattle baits up. You guys can throw these for bass, for pike, for pickerel, for muskie. You know, I've caught walleye on rattle baits like these. The cool thing about these is, you know, the gliding motion with that big heavy rattle. So that's why I picked these baits up. I'm gonna use these a ton in Canada and they will produce fish. So you guys know that I am a huge fan of Fat AZ, not only for the podcast, but for Fat AZ products and really Muddy Creek fishing guides. Some of my first experiences at Musky Max and some of these outdoor shows, you know, Todd Young, reached out to me as a young guy and just really talked to me as a fisherman. You know, he explained his products. He explained how to use them, when to use them. And that's something that I'll never forget because that to me, again, you know, that connection from vendor to kind of customer or client really makes me want to purchase those types of products and support those vendors. You know, so with that said, I spent some time at the Fat AZ booth. I talked to Andy, talked to Vance. I wish I had more time to talk to Todd but I just wanna thank those guys because they gave me some good feedback on some things and really kind of got me going in the right direction. Now this year, I wanna spend a lot of time fishing outflows and streams. Now with me not having a boat and having to rely on scheduling trips and going out with people that do have boats, I think stream fishing, outflow fishing is my opportunity to bang some fish and I really was trying to fight through and understand what baits I can throw in a stream. I've thrown a lot of baits in streams and outflows and I've been snagged a lot of times. So I was trying to figure out what the best baits are. So what I came up with is this. I talked to Vance at Muskie Road Rolls and I purchased one of their six inch swimmers. Now these six inch swimmers are paddle tail rubber baits and you guys can use these in streams, creeks, river systems. You can use them over top of weeds. You can use them on weed edges. You can vertical jig these and there's just a number of ways to fish these. So I picked up a few of these six inch sloppy swimmers. Now this is the first one in the perch pattern, like this glitter perch. This is such a sick color in my opinion. I just love this color, I love the glitter. Now, another story. After the seminar on Sunday, I heard Gear Man Steve ask a question at the seminar. My immediate reaction, go up to Gear Man and say, hey Gear Man, not just for the contest, but really to kind of meet Gear Man Steve. This is a cool opportunity. So I went up, I talked to Gear Man. We talked for a few minutes. He said, oh man, you were the second one to come up to me. So I was like, all right, no big deal with the contest. It's just cool meeting you. You know, so again, just these, these are cool things that you guys get at these shows. So I was kind of meandering back towards the Fat AZ booth and Gear Man Steve said, hey, come over here. I want to buy you a swim bait. You were the second guy to come up to me and recognize me, and I just want to do this for you as a listener. So, so we went up to the rack, and I've been debating this color the entire show over the two days. Gear Man said, which one do you want? And he picked it up for me, and it ended up being this silver shiner pattern. Just such a cool pattern with the glitter. And Todd was telling me, you know, this color, these types of natural colors is what you guys want to throw in streams and outflow systems. So I'm gonna be heading out this afternoon at some point and I'm gonna to toss this guy and see if I can't get bit. Now, after I've been thinking about this and the way I fish and the way I'm gonna to try to fish, I went back to Andy and I ordered a couple more this week and he shipped them out to me and I just got them in the mail yesterday. I ended up with this orange with the gray scale on it. Just such a cool color. I ended up with this dark one. I don't know what this is called, but it's kind of like a bluish gray with the glitter. Another awesome color. And I ended up with this kind of like greenish brown scale color. I don't know what these are called. Go out to the Fat AZ website and check them out. Or ping Andy and he'll tell you what the colors are. But these again, these are going to be really awesome tools for me this year to pitch in those types of systems. And hopefully I can produce fish. 
Now, I picked up two additional baits at the Fat AZ booth. On Saturday, I picked up this six inch Raptor. Again, keeping in mind, I'm going to Canada. So I wanted kind of some smaller stuff. But in addition to that, with that combo, with the Bakers on Sunday, I went with the eight inch Raptor and I got this in the three mile perch pattern. So there's the AZ logo. There's the Raptor, pretty cool bait, nice big fat profile. And again, these baits catch fish. All right, guys, one last bait I want to talk about. The Angry Monkey. Now, you guys know I've talked about the disjointed minnow in the past. I caught one of my biggest bass to date on that disjointed minnow. However, I've caught a lot of smaller bass and I've had some looks from pike at high point and things like that. So these baits, in my opinion, they, they do produce fish. And I really love the shine on the bill. I love the profile. And when you guys see the action when you're casting, it's really unbelievable. So I like Angry Monkey. Um, now, when I talked to Paul at the show, he actually gifted me this bait. So Paul, thank you very much. I really appreciated that. Just such a cool profile on this bait. And really, I was trying to make something like this with my Sir Galashad. Um, one thing I wanna show you guys is this color, this profile. This is his new style bait. Um, I can't remember the name of it. So Paul, if you see this, if you can just send me a comment, let me know what the name of this bait is. Um, this is an awesome trolling bait. It's got the through wire construction on it. It's really, really awesome head shake from my understanding. And this paint job with the foil, it's just so cool. Such a cool product. The eyes are cool. I really like this and I'm really excited to troll this. I love purple baits for some reason. So again, check out Angry Monkey. They make some really cool products. Disjointed Minnow, this new guy, super pumped to get him in the water. All right, guys, I realize I missed a tremendous amount of opportunities at Musky Max to talk to local vendors, to check out some additional product, and I apologize for that. I was so driven on getting the baits that I had on my list that I, it was just an oversight. I didn't make it to every booth. So I'm hoping next year what I can do is I can spend some more time, come up with a better game plan, and get around to booths that I didn't get to this year. If you guys are willing, as vendors, to give me you know, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe two minutes of your time to kind of look at your product and show people your product, I am more than willing to do a video on it. It's, you know, for me, I'm doing this for fun. I love these events, I love muskies, and I love musky fishing. This is a new thing for me. However, this is something I can see myself doing for many, many years. So I really just wanna stay involved as much as possible. I wanna learn as much about new products as possible. I wanna meet new people in the community. The musky community is like no other fishing community across the country. Guys that are willing to sit down and talk to you as fishermen, guys that catch hundreds of fish every year, you know, premier guide services, and they are still willing to talk to you as a person, as a human being, and as a fisherman. This is what makes this musky community so special. I had probably at least a half dozen to a dozen offers to take me fishing. You know, the impression on new guys like me in that type of environment is second to none. You guys get new guys walking into these shows and they have an experience like me and they spend the time to dedicate themselves to it, you take so much more out of this than you actually put into it. So, you know, for me, I had a budget plan. I've been selling a lot of stuff on eBay. You know, the other thing I want to mention, I actually quit hunting to pursue musky fishing. Now, a lot of guys would probably give me crap about that. I was a bow hunter. I, I hunted a lot in rifle season. You know, I have a slug gun. I have a PSE bow. I still have those things, but I've committed to fishing. It is my passion. It's more special for me to catch a fish and release it back and than it is for me to go out and kill a deer. Plus with the whole diabetes thing, you know, I'm trying not to eat red meat, so it doesn't make sense for me to pursue deer hunting. It makes more sense for me to pursue something just as challenging in musky fishing. So I just wanted to make sure I stated that, you know, I've given some things up. I've really sold a lot on eBay. You know, I've been trying to position myself to be able to get a budget to spend and dedicate to these types of lures. So. It's not always gonna be like this. You guys know financial situations change. However, this year I was very fortunate. I consider myself very lucky. And I'm very thankful that you know my wife supports me and I have good friends and family that support me. 
allow me to go out and do this and, and pick up baits and pursue musky fishing. So, you know, really, I guess to wrap things up, hopefully you guys liked what I picked up at the show. I would really like to hear from you guys what your pickups were. You know, just curious what everybody's out there buying. You know, do you like these baits that I picked up? Were there other baits that I should be looking at? You know, particularly to fish streams and outflows. Anything you guys want to bang off of me, feel free to leave me a comment, shoot me a message on Facebook, shoot me a message on Instagram. I just picked up my Instagram account, trying to figure the social media thing out. I'm an IT guy and I don't do social media. So it's a whole new thing for me. I'm well outside my comfort zone, but you know, it's all fun. And it's, it's so cool to kind of meet new people and learn what types of baits you guys are throwing. So again, I just want to take some time to thank everybody for watching. If you guys like this video, hit that like button for me. If you guys like this voice talking about fishing in general, whether that's bass fishing, walleye fishing, musky fishing, looking at baits, playing with tackle, you know, reviewing things, trying to convey information that I'm learning. That's my goal. If you guys like that stuff, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. So we're almost there guys. I'm going to try to get out there this afternoon. I might try to get out a little bit tomorrow and I might be out fishing with Dan on Sunday afternoon. We will see what happens. The weather is warming up. Keep your hooks sharp, tight lines. We will see you guys next time.